There has been a huge movement, I, I think, that there is quite obvious for people who want to think greener and act greener. And um, while we have been in the recycling business for many years, we too have stepped up our efforts and come up with some new programs. And um, we have several sustainability goals that we're working towards as well. Waste Management is the nation's largest solid waste and recycling company. And we service municipalities, commercial customers, industrial customers. Um, we have landfills and transfer stations and recycling facilities. And we also have numerous um, recycling programs that involve things like CFLs, batteries, electronics, that sort of thing. We are beginning to have more questions about how to recycle compact fluorescent bulbs. And um, we've come up with some programs that would meet the needs of households and folks out in the commercial world. Obviously, um, we are seeing more and more fluorescent bulbs being produced, and um, they have a lot of attributes to them. They are quite a bit better than the bulbs that we've been using, the incandescent bulbs, um, because they save 75% in electricity, one bulb does. It also saves $30 over the life of the bulb in energy costs. One fluorescent bulb consumes 200 pounds less in coal consumption, and it also um, prevents 400 pounds in greenhouse gas emissions. While it might cost more to buy CFL, it's going to last longer and it's going to be, it's going to have a better effect on the environment. While we've got a lot of great things about the CFL bulbs that everybody's buying now, we need to make sure that we manage the disposal of those in a proper way because the bulbs do have a little bit of mercury in them and that is considered a, a hazardous waste and it must be disposed of properly. Waste management has developed um, a number of programs to recycle the CFL bulbs. One of which I want to tell you about is one for households. And um, a person can go online and order this box and you'll receive it in the mail. And so you open it up and there's a nifty little, another little box right here that you open up and um, actually pull off of this main part. But um, you open this up to make a box to hold your bulbs, and you've got a, a vapor lock bag. This, this is what you would put your bulbs inside to go in the box. Then once the box is full, you would drop it in a mailbox. It'll already have an address on it, and um, it'll be stamped. The most important thing that gets recycled when this goes to the recycling facility is the mercury that's in there and so that can be handled in a proper way. Um, it actually is filtered and it is reused. Um, also, you've got some metal that's recycled and the glass, there's some glass in here that can be recycled as well. So those are the parts that are being recycled. There are several plants across the country where these can be recycled and we actually have one down in South Carolina near Spartanburg. While the CFL does have mercury in it, um, it is a very, very small amount of mercury. But we need to start now in handling it properly and educating people how to, to handle it and also to have programs so that it's convenient for them to recycle. I would encourage everyone to go on our website and look at the other programs that we have for recycling. Another one um, that is similar to the CFL program is one for batteries. It's the same sort of program whereby you order a box and you open it up, it has a bag in it, you fill it up and then you drop it back in the mail. People have been recycling for a long time and I think it, more and more we're seeing them recycle and we're finding ways to recycle different things. Um, more unusual things than before. And so I believe we'll, we'll continue to see new programs starting up, um, whether it's 
figuring out how to make gas out of something that we use in our house every day or, or what, but we're gonna see more and more um, programs, I believe, to recycle things. And, and maybe one day we'll have just a little tiny can for our garbage and we'll have a big container for our recycling. We encourage folks to go on our website called thinkgreenfromhome.com and see the different programs that we have to offer.